Module 11 Creating Freeform Parts Creo Elements Direct Modeling Express allows you to create freeform parts by different operations already known to you Pull and Pull Angular and some new one Loft, Sweep and Helix operation. Using these operations from basic loft menu from the model group of the modeling tab, you can design freeform parts which are not easy for the standard engineering techniques. Creo interpolates control points to create a line and can interpolate a series of profiles or edges to create faces. Let's go away from engineering models, now spend time lounging and create some design of freeform armchair like you have seen at the viewport. The loft operation allows creating and modifying freeform part by connecting profiles in a work plan set, uniting parts or using a combination. You can use the loft operation to create a single new freeform part, add a freeform section to an existing part or to remove a freeform section from an existing part. To prepare for the loft operation, you will need to make three steps. First of all, create a position the work plane of parts. We create uh, now work planes and work plane set. That is a reference work plane group which is needed for the free form part creation or modification. It doesn't matter whether you create work planes or empty work plane set first and then drag work planes into this set. The second step in this process is creation a profile on each involved work plane. Each work plane can, can contain one or more profiles but not unclosed, intersecting, branched, overlapping or tangential ones. You will see we create now profiles in every work plane, making one by one active and using rectangles, lines, circle or some other commands you may use from the draw group to create such profiles. You see now the rock plane set and now we will create a match line. Click create a mail in the basic loft menu and connect vertices of profiles in various rock planes. You can also control and modify match lines using tweak, rotate and delete ML options in the basic loft section. When work plane profile and match line have been produced, click add in the basic loft section and then select part from the structure browser, enter the name of a new part in the part field. Like we do now, we have a part. Smooth generates a smooth surface by removing edges between adjacent faces and close specifies whether or not to close the result in loft. You can preview and see the result. Our armchair, designer armchair is ready. There is one more option that is called loft to part. Uh, it allows to create uh, freeform parts between one part and a work plan set, between two parts and a work plan set, and from part to part. Imagine that we need to connect our freeform chair to some already existed bag. This bag um, is the part two. First of all, we need to create a match line. Then we will need to select edges from the loft profile with the help of the select tool and then show the vertices on the work plane set. Make our freeform model smooth and preview. You see how changed our freeform designer armchair. Let's now explore the sweep operation and create some kind of freeform tube that will be used as a passing modulation. The sweep operation allows creating freeform parts by sweeping a profile along a path defined by a spine curve. The profile defines the cross section of the created part and the spine defines the path along which the profile is swept. The spine must not be located in the same work plane as the profiles to be swept. You see now the preparation for the sweep operation is a two-step process. First we create profiles to be swept and then we create a list of curves for the sweep operation. 
Remember some conditions. Profile must be closed in planner. Multiple closed planner profiles can be used in the same sweep operation in condition that they are located on the same work plane. And the profiles to be swept can be located at any distance from the spine defining the sweep path. The spine must be smooth or tangentially connected to or three D curves. If you want to sweep the profile along a specific section of the spine, split the spine at the beginning and end points for this section. Now, if you are ready with uh, profiles and curves, then go to the sweep add in the basic sweep section. Select a part, click VP and specify a work plane containing a profile and select a curve you want to use as a spline. Preview and click all. Off. Now to finish with our pressing modulation we will show this tube. We will show this model to make it be in tube. We use uh, the shell operation from the model group set uh, offset being 3 and you see the result. Let's hide our work planes and get our plastic or metal passing modulation. The freeform operation helix sweeps the profile about an axis in order to create a helical part. You can use this operation for creating new helical part or for removing helical section from an existing part. The profiles to be swept and the sweep axis need to be located in the same work plane. The profile to be swept must not intersect the sweep axis. We make a spring now. You need to specify the pitch that is the distance between turns and the pitch needs to be large enough to ensure that the helix is not self-intersecting intersecting, and specify any number of turns. Right hand defines right hand orientation for helix. With screw elements direct modeling express you can remove material by the helix operation, for example, to make a thread. You will need to create also a profile to be swept and a sweep axis for this operation. Then click helix remove in the helix section, specify a name for the parts using structure browser or just um, the default active part. Click work plane and specify work plane containing a profile to be swept. It will be a work plane with the circular profile that we create now. You see? Then select the axis of the helical part about which you want to sweep the profile. You can apply reverse or use the uh, XYZ system. 3D Copilot helps you so much when you uh, create elements direct modeling express user interface. Then specify the pitch, turns a prox tool controls helical tolerance for exact helix distance. A check part automatically checks parts for corruptness during the creation. And you see the result. Our thread is ready.